Hello, my friends and family. It's Elena Rodriguez. Um, I'm outside pretty much freezing my booty off, but I just feel like being outside, so that's okay. If you're there, say hi. If you're watching the replay, do a hashtag replay. Um, I'm tired today. Um, I'm emotional today, but I am still talking dreams. But the main thing is, is I'm just going to call bullshit out on a lot of the excuses that we carry around and that we tell ourselves um, because I love you, uh, because I love myself, and because I believe in dreams. You guys know dreams is my thing and um, it's my life. So I'm sitting out here. Um, this past week has been difficult. Um, there's been three deaths in less than a week that have crossed my path. Some have impacted me tremendously and some have um, hurt just because I know my family's hurting. So. Lots of emotion this week, but it's that reminder that we are wasting our time. We're wasting our talents and we're wasting our gifts and we're wasting our ideas and we're wasting our vision. And these are the things God has given us and we're wasting it. And so I want to tell you what dream means to me. I'm also going to tell you how you can join me in November and I'm inviting you unapologetically because I believe in dreams so much that... I want you to live yours while you're here, before your time runs out. Now, I'm not stupid. I know dreams are only accomplished by achieving goals, okay? Um, you can't make your dream come true. You can't turn it into reality unless you're crushing goals. But I choose to call mine a dream. I choose to believe that God planted it in me. And that's what I'm calling it. So if you, you know, think like dreams don't, dreams are only goals with an to like a end date or something like, cool, that's fine. Then, then don't listen to me. I'm not, I'm not for you. To me, dream actually means daily repetition of energy and awareness in motion. D-R-E-A-M. Daily repetition of energy and awareness in motion. You have to know what you want. You have to put your energy behind it. You have to feed it every day. You have to be in motion. So dream to me is not this little unicorn flying on a, you know, white horse, or I guess a unicorn would be the horse. It's not in the sky. It's not the rainbows. It's not the glitter and all the fancy stuff. It's freaking your purpose in life. The purpose God has given you, only you, all right? So daily, your dream needs daily nourishment. You have to feed it every day. What you feed will flourish. What you neglect will die, okay? Feed it every day. Um, what you focus on, you get good at. That's the repetition. One of my coaches talks about all the time. Repetition is the mother of mastery. If you're not trying every single day to do something and repeating and going again and going again, that's how you get good at it. If you think you're going to come out once and try it and it's like going to just be perfect, yeah, you are in the la-la dream state. That's not the dreams I'm talking about. Um, what you focus on, you get good at. You'll suck at first. We talk about it. We, you, you'll... Um, we talk about shitty first draft, you know, um, it's, it's going to be messed up. But if you're worried about what that looks like, if you're, if you're worried about what you look like or what people think about you because you're actually trying to do something, like, I don't know what that would feel like. I, I, you're suffocating yourself. You're not even living. You're not opening yourself up to your potential who cares if you you know come out the gate and you trip and you fall the first time you tried to walk you didn't just take steps and you know you're walking around the house you fell down a million times but you never quit but yet somewhere along the way we grow up and we think like oh I can't even take this risk because if I step out what if it doesn't work it's not going to work the first time it's not going to and and I just I think about all the people that are standing behind that starting block, waiting 
to get it perfect, to make sure everything looks good. Because even if you spend years for perfection, the first time you step out, it's going to suck. It's going to fail. So you're wasting time. You're wasting time that you might not have. All our time's going to run out. The energy piece of it, energy is contagious. Surround yourself with the people that believe in dreams too. If you're surrounded by people that think dreams are stupid, you will never breathe life into yours. You never will. Energy is contagious. Your tribe matters. Who you learn from matters. We're influenced every single day. Whether we're doing the influencing or someone else is influencing us, we are impacted every single day. And if you're surrounded by people that think this is as good as it gets, if you're surrounded by people that think all that good stuff is for them and they're just going to sit and wallow in their negativity, that's you. That's going to become you. Find people that believe in your ideas. Find people that believe in dreams. I fight for dreams so much and I stumble all the time all the time but I think I've you know it, it the more you do it it doesn't hurt it's like sweet I learned something let's go back and let's do it again okay the other piece awareness awareness is a choice okay awareness um, I'm reading some things I wrote down um, be willing to learn things from other people you are never going to get past what you know I don't care how many books you read. I don't care how many courses that you buy that probably end up collecting dust on a shelf. I don't care how many uh, movies you watch. If you don't have somebody talking it through with you, challenging you to look at something different, you'll never get beyond how you see it. You'll never expand. You'll never grow. You'll never open yourself up to the next thing. They can help you get closer to your dream. It takes people. It takes people to call you out on your bullshit. I was called out on bullshit yesterday by people that love me. Was it, was it um, easy? No. It, n nothing's ever easy when it opens up pain in you. But gosh, there's beauty in that because when you get through that and you see things differently, you can see the stuff that's blocking you. And I'm going to share that piece of bullshit with you in a little bit because that one is huge for me. I needed somebody to open up my awareness and teach me something that I couldn't see for myself. I was in it. I was living it. I was breathing it. But I didn't know that's why. And somebody pushed me, challenged me to look at it differently. And I'm so thankful that I surround myself with the tribe that we're not willing to hurt each other because we hurt each other with love. We're, we're there to push each other to become more. We're there to push each other to become better. And that's what I want to be for you. That's why I'm never going to stop offering things. I'm never going to stop inviting you to join me. I can't make you join me. I can't make you want to be better. But what I do know is I can expand your awareness. I can, I can give you the tools. The other piece is, is in motion. Okay, everything you know, this goes back to that quote, like knowledge is power. That's bullshit. Knowledge isn't power. I don't care how smart you are. I don't care how much you know if you're sitting on the couch not doing anything with it. Okay, applied knowledge is power. When you're actually doing something with it, when you're in motion, going to get the thing. That's where the power is. I don't care how book smart you are. I don't care how many degrees you have or what your GPA is. If you're sitting on the couch just pointing fingers at people, not doing anything with it, get up and do the work. Go get it. That's the piece that is where the power lies because it's still within you. It doesn't matter how much you know. If you're not doing nothing with it, put it in motion. So that's what dream means to me. Daily repetition of energy and awareness in motion. So if you think, you know, talking about dreams is silly. If you think talking about dreams is in living in fantasy land. Yeah, we definitely don't see dream the same way. Okay. So maybe I'm just going to be a dream coach. Now, I don't know that titles don't mean anything to me. But before I get into talking about the bullshit, because if you've ever attended one of my workshops, one of the workshops, I actually passed out little round mirrors. 
so that people could actually hold the mirror up to them when it was time to call bullshit on themselves. Like, that's how much I love you. But you can have fun with it. Um, learning about yourself doesn't have to be a negative thing. Can it be painful sometimes? Yeah. Yeah. But there's beauty in it because that's how you grow. That's how you get better. And I care about you so much that I'm not going to worry about bruising your feelings or your ego. Because I know once you get on the other side, you're going to thank me for it. I'm not afraid to push the buttons when I know that I can push those buttons to open up that excellence in you. Because I want for you what God wants for you. I believe in dreams so much that I watched a video that I did from Brooklyn, New York, two years ago today. It was 2018. And I was talking about, cry, I was crying and I was talking about what the other side of the dream looks like. At a time that I was not supported at all, but I was still going for it. And here I am today, two years later, still talking about it. Only 2019 halted for me. It halted for me when my world crumbled down. But I'm back here talking about it again because it's not going to go away. That's God's purpose for me. Anyway, so again, before I move on, because I'm going to talk about some bullshit points, and I know some of you um, don't have an attention span to watch a video for long, and that's even something that a friend of mine told me. She's like, I love watching your videos, but I, I'm like, I only got a couple minutes before my attention goes. I'm like, well, that's good to know. And I'm like, so I'm just going to invite you to join me sooner. <laughs> I'm not going to wait till the end. Click the link, sign up. Let's go. Just do it. So that's the first one. The other one is I'm sharing these bullshit moments because of yesterday. Because I couldn't see this piece for myself. And it's hurt. Um, I've cried, um, but I'm so thankful for it. So it's helped me. And so I'm going to call bullshit on a couple things for you. So number one, why don't people go for their dreams? Why don't they sign up for the course? Why don't they make that next move? Bullshit excuse number one, I don't have time. Okay, if you're telling yourself you don't have time, I'm calling bullshit on you right now. We all have 24-7. So why are some people killing it and some people can't even like get their house in order in a day? Like I'm calling bullshit on that. You do have time. If you want it, you will make the time. Period. Time's not hiding from you. You can't say when I find the time. It's not hiding. If you want it bad enough, you will make the time. Uh, you know, it's like one of these things that when people tell me I don't have time. I usually ask, hey, what's your favorite series on Netflix? And oh my gosh, they'll rattle on about all these, all these things they're watching on Netflix. How many hours was that? How many hours of time did you have there that you could have been working on your dream? Don't tell me you don't have time. I can ask somebody else, you know, oh, I, I don't have time for that. Did you watch the games last weekend? Who won? What were the scores? And they can tell me about all the games that they watched. How many hours was that? So... It's not saying that games aren't your priority or Netflix isn't your priority or whatever you want to say is your priority. But don't tell me that you don't have time. You choose what you spend your time on. I don't know what the hell's on Netflix. Now, for some people, that's part of their job. So great. That's got to be time that you invest. I don't know who's playing sports. I don't. That's not important to me. So I don't make time for it. But if you're making time for all these things that aren't serving you and you're trying to tell me that you can't go get your dream because you don't have time, that's bullshit. Stop lying. Number one, I don't care if you lie to me. I can read lies from a mile away. Don't lie to yourself. Stop telling yourself you don't have time because the more you're telling yourself that, the more you're not going to have it. But if you can tell me what's streaming on Netflix, or you can tell me all the games that you watched this weekend, but you're telling me you don't have time to catch up on laundry, or you don't have time to do those emails, or you don't have time to work on a budget, or you don't have time to work for that thing, that thing that is your dream, then, then you're not my person, because that's bullshit. That's bullshit number one. Number two, the big one, I don't have money. That's bullshit. 
Okay? The more you tell yourself you don't have money, you're not going to have it. But if you have money to go buy makeup, makeup's not a necessity. I have no makeup on today, and I've been crying yesterday. After I found out that my cousins lost a dear friend, I've just been crying. She ended up having, like, I think she had a heart attack. And when they talked about her going into having to be put in a hypothermic coma and all of that, it just took me back to my husband's heart attack. So, anyway, I have no makeup on, okay? Back to my point. Makeup is a, is a, it's a fun thing. Do you need it to live? No. Does makeup cost money? Yes. Does eating out cost money? Yes. Do you eat out? I'm sure you probably do. Okay. Does Netflix cost money? Yes. So there's, you have money. So don't tell yourself these bullshit excuses that you don't have money to invest in a program that's going to help you or that you don't have money to invest in a coach that's going to push you forward. You don't want it. And that's okay. Own it. Quit lying to yourself. That's my point. You're never going to get to the place that you could actually thrive in your life if you're lying to yourself. Lie to yourself if you want. Don't lie to me. You have, if you have clothes in your closet and shoes in your closet that you don't wear, you have money. Sell the shit. If you have jewelry in a jewelry box that collects dust and you don't wear it, you have money. Sell the shit. How do I know that? I sold a $6,000 for 500 bucks. Why? Because it was my wedding ring and it meant bullshit after I found out about his affair. It held no value. But you know what had value? Making sure my house was warm. Making sure I had electricity. Making sure I could do my work so I can reach my dream. Don't tell me you don't have money. That's bullshit. Excuse I got number two. Uh, what else do I got here? Let me look at my notes. Um, you know, oh, the other one. I'm stuck. <laughs> Thanks, too sweet. I'm still fine without makeup. <laughs> Thanks. The other one. I'm stuck. You know, I'm stuck, and I'm, and I'm trying to just figure out what, you know, what I need to do next. That's why you need help. You're not stuck. You don't want to do the work. So don't lie to yourself. Nothing's going to ever line up perfectly. All the dots are not going to come up in a row. Like it's not going to open up with flashing lights and say, this is it. This is how you do it. You have to just start moving forward. But don't tell me that you're stuck and you just can't figure it out. That's why you need help. That's why you need help. Because we can't see it for ourselves. We need people. So I want you to envision, if, if you're saying that you're stuck and you just don't know what, you, what to do, imagine like being on the road and you get a flat tire and you have the spare in your trunk and you have all the tools and you have the jack, you have all the stuff. You just don't know what to do with it. And somebody comes along and wants to help you. But they're like, you know what? I want to teach you something so that you never end up in this place again. Get all these things out, and I'm going gonna, and I'm gonna to stand right here, and I'm going to tell you how to do it. And you're like, never mind. Like, never mind. I'll just stay stuck. I'll wait for the next person that comes along that just does it for me. That's what you're doing when you pass up an opportunity. Somebody can try to help you, and the only way that they can really help you is by teaching you how to help yourself, not doing it for you. But if you're wanting somebody to do it for you, then just choose to stay on the side of the road with your flat tire, with all the tools that you have to fix it, and don't. Stay stuck. Stay stuck. So I'm so passionate about this. It's all bullshit. Don't tell yourself you don't know what to do. Don't tell yourself that you can't get there, that, that you know, when I get the clarity or when... That's what people are here to help you do. And I'm pushing through my shit every day because I will get it. And then when I get there, then it's going to be more. And then I'm going to be more because I'm going to be helping more people every day. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm alive. And I know my time is not forever. I know it could be cut very short. 
I have an autoimmune disease. My life could be cut very short. You think I'm going to fucking waste it on these bullshit excuses? That's why I'm passionate. Don't tell me I can't talk about dreams. Don't tell me I can't help people build theirs. I can't give you your dream. I can't make you believe in your dream, but I can tell you how to make it come to life. I can help you. So the last piece, the last piece, and I save this piece for last because it's hard for me and I'll probably cry. Yesterday, Yesterday, I was on a call with four amazing powerhouses. Like, I surround myself with the most beautiful people. And these women, these women gave me space to talk about something that was really bothering me. There's this person, this gentleman that keeps popping up in my life. And I know his intentions are good, but I couldn't pinpoint it. I'm like, there's something about him I don't like. There's something about him. And it's not in a romantic way. It's not anything like that. There's just something about him. And, and we had to dig into it. And all the things that I put out, I learned about the law of projection yesterday. I learned about the things that, that you have within you that you put out there. Those are the things you see in people. And normally what I see in people is their excellence. I see their potential. I see their beauty. I see their God's love. Like those are the things I see in people. And I couldn't figure out what about this one person just doesn't feel good, doesn't feel right. And it took me to realize. He reminds me of my husband that died. But instead of pointing it on my husband, I was able to see that I don't trust myself. And I had to forgive myself. I had to forgive myself for stepping into a situation that I knew was not good. I had to forgive myself for accepting toxic emotional abuse for eight years. So it wasn't that person. It's not that person's fault. It was that I had to get real with myself. And I have to forgive myself. And I'm working on that. Because you know what? I tried to work with toxic people. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. But I can't step into that toxic place. I can't step into the yo-yo of Today he loves me. Tomorrow he hates me. Today I'm leaving. Tomorrow I'm staying. I can't do that. And I'm sorry. I can't help you there. You have to get yourself out of it. I can be there to help you move forward. But I can't be there to go through the yo-yo teeter-totter again. I did that long enough for myself. And that hurts because I want to help people. But I also know if you don't see it yourself, you're never going to see it no matter how many people try to tell you. And yesterday I had people that love me ask me, what is it about that person that you see yourself in? What is it about that person that bugs you so much? And you know what it is? That I didn't love myself enough to run as fast as I could away from a situation that messed me up. That's what it is. So what do you do with that? What do you do with stuff like that? You learn from it and you heal from it and you give thanks for the experience. God knew. God knew what was ahead. God knew he was going to have a heart attack and die. God knew I was going to fall to my knees and lose everything. God knew that. Then he let me walk through it, but he never left my side. But why did I have to go through it? So that I can fight for your dreams. So that I can show you what it looks like to get back up 
in that ring, when you have been knocked down again and again and again, and to get back up and to try again and to stand back up and wipe yourself off. That's why I'm not here to say dreams are some glitter dust. I'm here to say dreams are why you're here. Don't ignore it. Dreams are here to show you the good and the bad. We all have good and bad in us. All of us. So face the bad. Face the pain. Face the mistakes. And then use it. Use it to walk into your purpose. Use it to open up your excellence so you can help someone. And that's what I do. So what do you call that? I don't know. Dream coach? <laughs> Life coach? I don't know. But that's what I do. And so unapologetically, I'm, an inv I'm inviting you to join me the month of November while I work with you in my Dreams Under Construction workshop for the whole month. I'm inviting you to do that. And I won't let you bring your bullshit. I've, I've spent enough time cleaning up my own that I see it a mile away and I won't let you bring it. If, if you want to carry bullshit, then you're not my person. If you're willing to walk through it and clean it up, I will help you. But don't tell me you can't. Don't tell me you don't have time. Don't tell me you don't have money. Don't tell me you will when everything becomes perfect. Don't tell me those things. And you know what? If I'm not your person, if you don't like me, if you don't like what I stand for, if you don't like my message, that's cool. But I'm going to ask you, based on the law of projection, go look in the mirror and figure out what about me that you don't like, you, that it, it is that you don't like within yourself. It's all good. Face it. Face it. I have faced so much, and every time I get through another layer, I love myself more. So I'm just here to help you do the same. Thank you for tuning in. I know I've been here for a while today. But we kick off, guys. We kick off in about a week or so, and... uh I'm done playing. You know, my heart wants to help everybody, but not everybody wants to be helped. And I'm done wasting my time. I'm done wasting my energy because the people that are sucking me down, the people that want to stay in it, they're preventing me from helping somebody that actually is ready to move forward. And that's who I'm locking arms with. You ready? If you're ready, then let's go. But if you got to, you know, sit and think about it, then I'm not your person. Not your person. So... Click the link, sign up, have a beautiful day. Love you all. Bye.